Hello, and uh, welcome to Google Marketing Next. Today, you're going to see amazing innovations across AdWords, analytics, and DoubleClick. Mobile has forever changed how we live our daily lives. 18 months ago, the open source Accelerated Mobile Pages project, or AMP, was launched to help make the mobile web faster and better. Today, I'm happy to announce a new beta supporting fast-loading AMP landing pages for search ads. With this beta, AMP landing pages linked to from search ads will load near instantly from the Google cache. And finally, the reality today is consumers no longer distinguish between online and offline. In fact, they interact more with your brand on digital than they do with any of your stores or branches. We introduced store visits measurement two years ago to give businesses deeper insight into this behavior to help you bridge the gap between online ads and offline business results. And today, I'm excited to announce that we are soon rolling out location extensions and store visits for YouTube TrueView video campaigns. Soon, you'll be able to showcase local information alongside video ads to help consumers get directions, check business hours, and a whole lot more. And you will be able to measure the impact to your in-store food traffic. We found that consumers who click on an advertiser's Google search ad before visiting a store are over 25% more likely to make a purchase while they're at the store. That's why later this year, we are also rolling out two new tools to help you measure store sales accurately and completely. The first one will allow you to import transaction data into AdWords to see store sales and revenue at the device and campaign level for your search or shopping campaigns. We have a second tool where you can take advantage of Google's third-party partnerships to get store sales data with no implementation on your end. We have partnerships that cover approximately 70% of credit and debit card transactions in the US. With that, let's welcome Banu on stage to tell us more. Thank you. People expect relevant and useful ad experiences. And when you deliver those great experiences, people respond. We're improving the quality of our audience segments by connecting data across Google, across devices, and in real time. For example, if users watch your YouTube videos and interact with your channel, you can now reach these same users on search. Next, let's talk about new audiences that you can use to find great customers in the right moments. But we recently introduced consumer patterns and life events on YouTube. They help you understand where people shop and when life's biggest milestones, like graduating college, moving, and getting married, are happening. Now, in addition to better and brand new audiences, it's also important to reach people wherever they are. We're introducing in-market audiences to search ads so that you can reach more users who are likely to purchase. Now, of course, understanding the impact of your campaigns is just as important as, under, or as, as reaching the right audiences. With that, I would like to introduce Bill Key, who will share with you new innovations and updates to our measurement and attribution tools. Thank you. How do you know which of the many interactions you've had with a person across search, display, video, your site, or your app really matter? This year, we're solving the attribution problem. I'm thrilled to introduce Google Attribution. Google Attribution is a new tool that helps you to measure the impact of each of your marketing touch points across multiple channels and across multiple devices and makes it super easy to take action. And best of all, Google Attribution will be available to all advertisers at no cost. The first thing you do is bring together all of your data. Here's how you link your AdWords and Google Analytics accounts to attribution. Now that the data is joined together, we need to pick a smarter attribution model. Data-driven attribution uses your account's conversion data to calculate how much credit each touchpoint deserves. We can do this at scale because of Google's investments in machine learning. 
With this new model, you'll be able to see how the number of conversions changes for each channel. Data is only powerful in action. So with a few more clicks, you can make the data available in AdWords and double-click search. Combined with automated bidding, this is a really powerful feature for getting better results. Those of you who care about how many people you reach and how often find it increasingly difficult to measure reach and frequency. As the number of screens that people use increases, reach measurement becomes more fragmented. That's why we're introducing unique reach reporting in AdWords and DoubleClick. Critically, these metrics are deduplicated across devices, campaigns, and formats, so you can understand how many people you reached in your target audience and how many times you reached them. And now, it's my pleasure to hand off to Karen Yao, who will talk about how Google is investing in our tools to make you more productive. Thank you very much. Today, I'm going to take you back into the new AdWords experience and give you an exclusive look at some of the new features we're rolling out later this year. The new experience will recommend the types of audiences you should reach to achieve your goal. Google looks at your first party data, your customers, like the people who interact with your website and your YouTube channel, and based on this data, we'll create new audiences you might want to reach. Now, once your campaign is up and running, the new audience page enables you to monitor the performance of all of your audiences across search, video, display, and shopping in one place. Starting today, we're rolling out the new AdWords experience to millions of additional accounts. By year end, all advertisers will have access. We all know that if your website is slow or hard to use, it's going to affect your bottom line, especially on mobile. That's why we're launching two new tools to help you work smarter with landing pages. First, in the new AdWords experience, you'll see a new landing page tab. It will tell you how your landing pages are doing. Secondly, AdWords will soon be integrating with Google Optimize, our website testing and personalization tool. You can now use Google Optimize to tailor different versions of landing pages for your specific AdWords campaigns, ad groups, and keywords. Now please help me welcome Rashawn Khan to the stage to talk about Google Analytics and DoubleClick. So to help you save time and get better outcomes, we're bringing data and technology to campaign planning with a new workflow in DoubleClick Bid Manager. You will tell DoubleClick what your primary marketing objective is for the campaign. We've got you covered whether you want to build awareness or influence consideration, right through to things like driving action and repeat business. So let's say that we have video assets as well as display ads. Now this is where the magic happens. DoubleClick uses machine learning to analyze past campaigns and recommend the right inventory, audiences, and budget based on your goals, effectively creating an optimized media plan tailored just for you. Surveys360 makes it easy for anyone to create a survey, to find a specific audience sample, and generate results in just a few days. We're connecting AdWords to Surveys360. Now, you can target your surveys to your AdWords remarketing lists from within your Surveys360 account. This new connection between AdWords and Surveys360 is available starting today in the United States and Canada. Now that you've heard about how we're bringing recommendations to assist you with your marketing, I'd like to welcome Jennifer Liu, who will talk about the magic of Google Assistant and what that means for you. OK, Google, where can I find Snap Circuit Boards for kids? OK, I found several products. The first is a Snap Circuits Junior Board at Barnes & Noble 2.6 miles away for $29.95. They're open until 9 PM. For those retailers in the audience that are interested in participating with the local shopping use case I demonstrated earlier, you can send us your local inventory data. And in the next few weeks, we'll be making this data available on the Google Assistant. Thank you for joining us here today. It has been a privilege and a pleasure for all of us to share with you, and we look forward to helping you grow your business. See you next year.
at Google Marketing Next. Hey there, did you like this video? Then hit that like button down below. And if you want to find out more about the data-driven way of digital marketing, then maybe also subscribe to our channel right over there. We'll bring you new videos every week, tutorials, marketing tech reviews, and tips and tricks on better tracking in general. Now, my name is Julian. See you in the next one.